developing news this midday. A locally based Navy SEAL charged in the death of an Army Green Beret was in court today. Chief Special Warfare Operator Adam Matthews was charged with murder and manslaughter. Today he will plead guilty to lesser charges of hazing, burglary, assault and conspiracy. Tenny Sides Chris Owen just got out of court and Chris, what have you learned? Yeah, that plea was taken by the judge here on Naval Station Norfolk just about 10 minutes ago. Officially, Adam Matthews guilty of those charges you mentioned. This was a June 2017 incident in Bamako, Mali. It was Marines, Army, and SEALs that were in a small counterintelligence unit that were gathering information on Al Qaeda. But Matthews, who was the man who was before the judge today, was only on the ground for about 36 hours when the other SEAL and two of the Marine, Marine Raiders out of Camp Lejeune, were telling Matthews that Logan Melgar, the staff sergeant who was the Green Beret, had performance issues. And then they were also felt slighted when Melgar was supposed to drop off the Marines at an event and left them in an area that was considered unsafe. So that later that night, June 4th, 2017, the four, in addition to, aside from Melgar, started talking about what they could do as remedial uh, punishment. And they started talking about something called taping. And they broke into his room about 5.30 the next morning, taped his ankles. One of the SEALs, not Matthews, another man named Tony Dedolf, who's also a SEAL Team 6 member, put him in a chokehold that led to his death. Now that guilty plea was accepted, like I said, just about 10 minutes ago by the judge here at this special court martial. As a special court martial, the maximum sentence is one year, regardless of the charges. So he'll get one year, his pay grade will go from E7 to E1, and he must agree to cooperate in the cases against the three remaining defendants, the one SEAL and the two Marines. We'll have much more on this beginning at 4 o'clock this afternoon. There are several witnesses still scheduled to testify in this uh, case that goes on this afternoon. It will resume at 1 o'clock. Like I said, we'll have more at 4. Live at Naval Station Norfolk, Chris Horn, 10 in your side.